Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits and continuity. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if P and Q are not equal and they are also not equal to zero, then the function f of x, which is equal to seventh root of P into 729 plus X minus 3 divided by cube root of 729 plus QX minus 9. We have been given this entire function is continuous at X equals to 0. Then the question is asking us to find out which one of them is the correct answer choice. And they have given us the options as 7 PQ F of 0 minus 1 equals 0. The second answer choice, 63 Q F of 0 minus P square equals 0. The third answer choice, it's told to me 21 Q F of 0 minus P square equals 0. And the last answer choice I have been given here is 7 PQ F of 0 minus 9 equals 0. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on an everyday basis. Let's see the solution now. So I have been given this function and we have been told that this function is continuous at e x equals to 0. Means the left hand limit add all the values of x tending to 0 minus and the right hand limit add all the values of x tending to 0 plus is equal to function's value at x equals to 0. So we know that both the left hand and right hand limits are equals to f of 0. Now, if I further see this, when it's given to me that this entire function is continuous and if I write it in the form of a limit extending to 0, the function which is given to me is 7th root of P into 729. So 729, if I see, 729 divided by 3, 243 divided by 3, 81, 27. 9, 3, and 1. So I have 6 3s for 729. So I can write that in the form of 3s as 3 raised to 6 plus x minus 3 divided by denominator cube root of again 729 is present. But here if you see it is in the form of 9. So if I want to write it in form of 9s, I can write this 6 3s as three nines. So I have nine cube plus QX minus nine. So that is the entire thing we have here. Now, once I have this, I know that when the function is given to me that it is continuous, if I put the value of the limit, that the limit should exist, right? So for the limit to exist here, if I'm putting X equals to zero in this case, I get X equals to zero. That gives me cube root of 9 cube, which is 9 minus 9. So denominator is 0. And if I put it x 0 here, I get here 0, 3 raised to 6 into p raised to 7 or 1 over 7. So 3 raised to 6 into p raised to 1 over 7 minus 3. Now, I, when I have this entire thing, I understand that if my denominator is turning 0, my numerator also should turn out 0 so that I have an indeterminate form and then I can apply the L'Hopital's rule. So then only the limit exists because there would be something common that I have to cancel out from both numerator and denominator. So I understand that my numerator should turn out to become 0. So if I see and equate the numerator to turn out 0, 3 raised to 6 into p raised to the 7th root is equal to 3. 
So if I take that seventh root on the other side, I get three raised to six into P is equal to three raised to seven. So P in that case becomes three raised to seven divided by three raised to six. So from here, I get six threes canceled, only one three remains. And I get the answer for the question here. For P at least right now, that P is equal to three. Now I have the value of P with me. Let's also try to find the value of Q. That's also an unknown here. So now if I solve this entire limit, the question tells me limit x tends to zero, numerator and denominator. Denominator, it's given to us cube root of nine cube plus Q x minus nine divided in the numerator. We have seventh root of P into three raised to six plus X. So P I know it is three. So it becomes three into three raised to six plus X minus three. So once I have that entire limit, I want to solve this further. So I will basically divide my numerator by three. So I'm dividing this entire numerator by, let's say I divide this by nine also, and I divide this also by nine. So I'm dividing both numerator and denominator by nine. I should divide this numerator also by three only, but uh, let's see how to solve this further. So I get from here limit x tends to zero. From the numerator, when I'm dividing it by nine, I can just split it as three into three. So one three is of no use in the numerator. So I'm taking that out and one three I'll be using here. So seventh root of three raised to seven plus three X minus three, the entire thing divided by three. The denominator, if I'm dividing this by nine, I get cube root of nine cube plus Q X minus nine, this entire thing divided by nine. So if I try to solve this further, let's see how do I solve this. So limit x tends to zero. You already have one over three out. So let's keep that out only. Now numerator, if I solve this first, I can write that as cube root, the seventh root of three raised to seven plus three X. This whole thing divided by three and minus three divided by three, which is minus one. Denominator cube root of nine cube plus QX divided by nine and minus one again. Now, if I try to write it in the form of X raised to N minus A raised to N divided by X minus A, we know for that the limit extends to A gives me n a raised to n minus one. So if I try to write it in the form first, let's see one over three limit extends to zero. I can write this as three raised to seven plus three X raised to one over seven. This entire thing is also divided. So if I put that three also in the power of one raised to seven, it gives you three raised to seven here. So three X, not three raised to X. So three X divided by three raised to seven minus one denominator. If I try to write it in the same form, nine cube plus Q X divided by one over three or raised to one over three because it's cube root. And if I take that nine in the denominator also in the power of one over three, I can write that as nine cube minus one. Now, if I again split the denominators with both of them, I get one over three limit x tends to zero. This gives you three raised to seven divided by three raised to seven, which is nothing but one plus three x divided by three raised to seven raised to one over seven minus one divided by denominator gives you nine cube divided by nine cube, which is one plus q x divided by nine cube. The whole raised to one by three minus one. Now, once I have this entire thing, let's solve this further. So I get one three canceled here and I have the power as six. So that is the idea. Now further, I have this also as one plus QX divided by nine cube raised to one over three minus. One. 
Now I have both of them if you see it in the form of x raised to n minus a raised to n. So I should just have now x minus a so that I can apply the idea of the limits formula which we understood here. So if I have to have x minus a here, I'll divide by that. So I'll divide by one plus this is x over three raised to six minus one. So if I'm dividing by that, I should multiply by that also. So actually, if you see one minus one is zero. So I'm just dividing by x over three raised to six. So I'm multiplying also with x over three raised to six. Here, if I see, I ha should have one plus qx divided by nine cube minus one. And here also I'll have qx divided by nine because one minus one again gets canceled, right? So we have this entire thing. Now, if I see, I have it in the form here as x raised to n minus a raised to n. So I can write one also as one raised to one over seven divided by x minus a. Here also you have x raised to n minus a raised to n divided by x minus a. So once I have both of them, I can further solve it as one over three n into a raised to n minus one. So one over seven. A in this case, it is nothing but one. So one raised to n minus one. So one over seven minus one. It does not make any difference because one raised to anything is one only. And we have here x over three raised to six multiplied and divided also. So we have here this idea which is 1 over 3 1 raised to 1 over 3 minus 1 into that is multiplied with qx divided by 9q. Now x and x gets cancelled easily and let's solve this further. So 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 also gets cancelled. This becomes 1 because 1 raised to anything is 1. This also becomes 1. So you have 1 over 7 1 over 3 raised to 6 q over 9q. Now, if you see 3 raised to 6 and 9 cube is nothing but same. So you get from here 1 over 7 cube. And that basically becomes your value. Now we have found the value of the limit. And we know that the function is continuous. When the function is continuous, your left hand limit or your right hand limit both become equal to each other and they become equal to f of 0. So f of 0 also in this case becomes 1 over 7 cube. Now, once I have 1 over 7 cube. Here for the value of f of 0, let's see which of the answer choices matches here. So I have p with me. I have q with me. I have p as 3. I have q as 1 over 7 times f of 0. So if I put it in the answer choices, I have here, if I put it in option b, q as 1 over 7 times f of 0. This f of 0 gets cancelled. 63 divided by 7 gives you 9. And p is also 3. So 3 square is 9. 9 minus 9 becomes equal to 0. So I can see this option b matches and gives you left hand side and right hand side equal to each other. So you get the answer for the question as option b. So b becomes a correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. So first with the idea of indeterminate form, we found the value of P and then we just adjusted our limits to convert it in this form of X raised to N minus A raised to N divided by X minus A. So then we can just use the idea N into A raised to N minus 1. We made some adjustments and we got the answer for the value of the limit as 1 over 7 Q. That gave me the value of Q in terms of F of 0 and once I put that in option B, it gave me the correct answer as option B. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.